he used to get these old ghetto blasters, as they call them, or you know, the little high, radio systems. It was just one, one unit you just sort of carry around with you. Don't know how we got hold of it, and I don't know. I really don't know how we, how I figured this out. Basically, it was a twin deck tape deck. It turns out it also had a microphone input as well. I figured out that by basically having two tapes, I recorded one tape, stick the one tape in into the, the record side of the tape deck, the twin tape deck, press record, which actually, before I carry on, it was by some kind of accident or some kind of fluke that I figured out that by sticking my uh, headphones into the mic input, would basically turn the headphone into a microphone. I could actually sing into the actual headpiece. It was only the little ones, the old kind of early-ish headphones that I used to get when I was younger. By sticking that into the microphone input, that would actually turn into a microphone itself. So that just opened up a whole world of, of recording for me. So I used to then get the, the tape recorder, uh, stick a tape into the to the record side of the, the, tape, the twin tape deck, record, the first part of what I wanted to do, whether it would have been the guitar. I think the first thing I came up with was an instrumental, the first thing that I wrote. So anyway, so we started on the, on, on the first track, I'd record that take, then put it over to the, the playing side of the tape deck, press play on there, I use the next tape to then also stick that into the, into the record side, press record while the tape that already just had me recording, let's say the first guitar rhythm part, would play it back. Uh, and while it would play it back, I could actually overdub with that little microphone, this makeshift headphone microphone thing that I'd created now. And I would do that time and time again. I would go, and so I'd change tapes over all the time. So the the next the, the next time I'd swap it over, the, the original first tape now had two tracks on it, that to a, a second overdub, and so on and so forth. So that, that was, funny enough, my first initiation into um, recording and using layers and adding layers to build up a song.